Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to create a cool vintage sort of 80s retro VHS style look inside of DaVinci Resolve. So we've got this cool retro looking shot here I guess, you know, whatever works. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and since this is some flat footage I'm just going to normalize it with a little LUT. You can just add contrast and saturation but since I'm lazy I'm just going to use one from the house LUTs pack mistermedia.com slash product make it normal. It's a good starting place and you see now we've got a nice image to work from. So the next step is where it gets exciting and we're going to hit alt Y and that is pretty exciting because we don't normally get to use a splitter combiner node. So what this does is it splits our footage into our red, green, and blue channels, and then combines it back into a normal image. So we're going to apply a couple different effects to these different channels and make stuff work. The first and most important one is in the blue channel. We're going to go ahead and add a little Gaussian blur here. And this is going to give us like a yellow highlight chromatic aberration thing you can see here. It's very cool. So you can change your border type to reflection if you want to get rid of the stuff on the edges. But I'm going to keep let's see what vignette 2 looks like. I'll do vignette one because we're going to keep it pretty retro. So we're just going to keep that. There we go. And now we get these sweet chromatic aberration type things. You can use different blurs if you want to experiment around with them. But I know Gaussian blur is a good one that I like a lot. The next thing we're going to do is go up to our red channel. And we're going to go to our sharpen tab. And we're going to decrease this radius and sharpen it up some. And then finally in our blue channel we are going to add some film grain. And I'm going to change this to like an 8 millimeter and bring the opacity way up. And there we go. So just like that, you get a pretty sweet little look. And now this might be a little bit yellow because of the uh, blue in here. So you can add a note afterwards. Or if you want to just experiment and, you know, play around with color grading, just do your curves in your color channels. It's just exactly just like selecting, you know, one of these. But, you know, you get to do it a little different way. So just like that you know evened it out a little bit if you wanted to add a little more blue back in to take away some of the yellow you can do that i don't really like that maybe we'll add a little bit to the highlights but then we'll go back and keep the shadows now that looks a little bit too bad cool so there's that and that looks pretty good and that's sort of a good starting place you get all of the artifacts that you want and if you want to take it even a step further you can you know grade afterwards so you can, you know, do whatever you want over here, make things happen, or you can also, you know, add a LUT afterwards. And since you've already done this correction in the beginning, you want to use a Rec 709 LUT. But you can do something like, you know, Bad Coffee Shop. Just add that afterwards, and now you still get all of the junk you added in with your LUT over top. So you can see without that. So anyway, hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out mrmedia.com slash products where you can get the LUTs that we use here as well as all sorts of other good stuff. We just updated the Carnival Power Grades pack because that's been doing really well. And you know, that's, that's another fun thing. So, you know, quick little Power Grade example because I really like the Carnival Power Grades a lot. We'll throw one of the new ones on there. Um... It would be a cool one. Time time. Look at that. Or daily coffee. Whoa, that's a nice one for this. That's nice and smooth. I like that a lot. Cool. Also, as always, if you want to get the footage and or power grades for these projects, you can go check out the Patreon page where we got some good stuff there. Once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. Up you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.